10,000 football fans gathered at the MCG today in answer to an SOS call from the Richmond Football Club. As Michael Roberts reports, the Tigers have to raise $1 million by the end of October to save them from extinction. They came in their thousands from every era, from 1920 to the current crop. But the biggest ovation was saved for legendary Richmond tough man, Jack Dyer. Every single death happened in my life, I think. A little touch of the Richmond football it was moving to witness not only Richmond supporters in full force, but a number of other clubs pitching in to help the cause. Present Tiger coach Kevin Bartlett was enthusiastic about the future. We've always had a very latent uh, uh, group of people who have supported us strongly uh, in large crowds when we've been successful. To those people who uh, have been missing over the last few years, well, here's an opportunity to save the club. Club president Neville Crowe was delighted with the turnout today, but raising the required money will need a tremendous effort. This is desperation stuff. If we don't uh, get this money by October 31, uh, we're out of business. One of the Tigers' most famous lines was that all-conquering centre line of the late 60s, Clay, Barrett and Burke. And who knows, could this be another in the year 2010? Michael Roberts, Seven Nightly News. <laughs> On the wings of an eagle may not have been the most appropriate song Russell Morris could have chosen, but like the thousands of others at the MCG, he too was there to help save an endangered species. Also there, legends of the past... Jack Dyer. ...and present. Kevin Sheedy. While officials would have hoped for a greater show of support, the fans who did turn up dug deep into their pockets. At times, the generosity was moving. That was certainly the case for Richmond President Neville Crowe when four-year-old Matthew Nichols donated his money box. Little guy comes up and says, here's my money box. Well, what do you do? You just, uh, you know, you've got to stay alive for that sort of thing. It's just, it does, it does grab you. But it was Captain Blood Jack Dyer who summed up the general feeling and directed his anger at the AFL. Do you tell them that there was more here this morning than those two teams that they've got up there in Sydney? Twice as many people... The Tigers have until the end of October to raise $1 million. If they can't do that, the club may cease to exist, robbing the Moroni triplets the chance of forming a lethal centreline. Fans who a couple of weeks ago were branded by President Neville Crow as armchair supporters. Well, today they got out of their armchairs and forked up, and they weren't all decked out in black and yellow. And not if, but when the Tigers win the flag in 2010, they have a ready-made centre line in triplets Dick, Billy and Francis. Young Benjamin, at three weeks, told me last night he's really quite determined to be in that team. As for the past, well, there were plenty of former greats prepared to stand up and be counted. Jack Dyer. Our former players have been sensational. This morning, a cheque for $20,000, you know, just remarkable. We've raised certainly around about 100 and probably in excess of 130000 now without today's campaign. And I just, uh, uh, you know, that's encouraging. But uh, $1 million or more is an awesome long way to go. So uh, no one should yet think that we've made it, not by any stretch of the imagination.